Today the topic is the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the people of Hazrat Lut alayhi salam also known as Hazrat Lot. The reason why I made this video is because I wanted to show that there are so many similarities in Judaism, Christianity and Islam and we cannot deny this fact. Prophet Abraham and Prophet Lut also called also known as Lot peace be upon them, are recognized in both Judaism and Christianity. Where Prophet Lut salam taught the people about the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, also known as the religion of Islam, it comprised of five cities, Sadum, Asbur, Dadwan, Tafim, and Sada. In all five cities, there were only disbelievers except for Sada, which had few believers. Hazrat Lut salam lived by himself in Sadum. The cities inhabited by the people of Lut, who appear in the Quran and were finally destroyed, have been revealed in recent archaeological excavations. These were the cities known as Sodom and Gomorrah in the Torah. According to archaeological research, the cities were located by the Dead Sea, which extends along the Israeli-Jordanian border. The area is thickly covered with sulfur. Hazard Lut, peace be upon him, was a farmer. When the two angels came, Hazard Lut was working in his field. And the uh, this uh, the surah which I took is from chapter 11, which is known as Al Hud, Surah Hud, and the ayat is from 77 to 83. So the first ayat is 77. Ayah number 77. What, and when our messengers came to Luth, Lot, he was grieved on for them and felt himself straightened for them, lest the townspeople should approach them to commit sodomy with them. He said, this is a distressful day. Auzu billahi minash shaitan rajeem bismillah rahman rahim aur jab hamare bheje hue farishte ladkon ki surat mein lut ke paas aaye to unke khayal se ranjeeda hue aur unke aane se tang dil ho gaye aur ye kehne lage ye aaj ka din sakht musibat ka din hai. Ask me what you will. Tomorrow's journey may be hard. But tonight Soft beds and safety. Ayah number 78. And his people came rushing towards him. And since aforetime they used to commit crimes, sodomy, he said, O oh my people, here are my daughters, i.e. the woman of the nation. They are purer for you if you marry them lawfully. So fear Allah and disgrace me not with regards to my guests. Is there not among you a single bright-minded man? Or unke qom, ladko ka ana sunkar bure irade se unke pas dorti hui aayi aur ye log uske qabil bhi bure bure kam kiya karte the. Lut alay salam ne jab unko aate dekha, to kaha ye meri qom ye meri qom ki betiya hai, maujood hai. Inse nika kar lo ye tumhare vaste jais aur zyada saaf sutri hai. To khuda se daro aur mujhe mere mehman ke baare mein ruswa na kiya karo. Kya tum mein se koi bhi samajhdar aadmi nahi hai? Ayah number 79. They said, Surely you know that we have neither de any desire nor need of your daughters, and indeed you know well what we want. In Kambakhto ne jawab diya, Tumko to khub malum hai, ki tumhari qom ki ladkiyon ki hume kuch hajat nahi, aur jo baat hum chaate hai, wo to tum khub jante ho. There seemed to be no escape, and he was afraid for his wife and daughters. He said, Ayah number 80, he said, Would that I had strength men to overpower you, or that I could betake myself to some powerful support to resist you. Lut alayhi salam ne kaha, Kaash mujh mein tumhare muqabale ki quwwat hoti, ya mein kisi mazboot qile mein pana le sakta. Ayah number 81, they, the messengers, said, O oh Lut, Lot, verily we are the messengers from your Lord. They shall not reach you. So travel with your family in a part of the night, and let not any of you look back. 
تو وہ فرشتے بولے اے لوت علیہ السلام ہم تمہارے پروردگار کے بھیجے ہوئے فرشتے ہیں تم گھبراؤ نہیں یہ لوگ تم تک ہرگز دسترس نہیں پا سکتے تو تم کچھ رات رہے اپنے لڑکے بالوں سمیت نکل بھاگو اور تم میں سے کوئی ادھر مڑ کے بھی نہ دیکھے Lot, bring everyone you care for. This city tilts at the edge of darkness. Its death is folded in our wings. Fly from the city. Run from your graves. Run! But do not look back. Not once. But your wife will remain behind. Verily, the punishment which will afflict them will afflict her. Indeed, morning is their appointed time. Is not the morning he near? But you are the one who is 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 the one number 82 so when our commandment came we turned the towns of Sodom in Palestine upside down and brained on them stones of baked clay in a well arranged manner one after the other پھر جب ہمارا عذاب کا حکم آ پہنچا تو ہم نے اس بستی کے زمین کے تپتے الٹ کر اس کے اوپر کے حصے کو اس کے نیچے کا بنا دیا اور اسے ہم نے کھرنجے دار پتھر تابڑ توڑ برسائے جن پر تمہارے پروردگار کی طرف سے نشان بنے ہوئے تھے Perhaps turning upside down signifies the region's destruction by a powerful earthquake. The expression rain down on them stones of hard baked clay may indicate a volcanic eruption and the hard-baked lava and stones thrown up by it. In other words, the tribe may have been destroyed by an earthquake following a volcanic eruption. God knows best. Ayah number 83. Marked from your Lord, and they are not ever far from the Zalimun, polytheists, evildoers. Or wo basti in Zalimu, kufare makase kur dur nahi hai. Tical excavations. These were the cities known as Sodom and Gomorrah in the Torah. According to archaeological research, the cities were located by the Dead Sea, which extends along the Israeli Jordanian border. The area is thickly covered with sulfur. The layers of lava and basalt are the main evidence to show that there was once a volcanic eruption and earthquake here. The Dead Sea, or Lake Lut, lies right over a seismically active region, in other words, on an earthquake belt. <laughs> <laughs> 